I paid $700 for it. It's been sitting for decades. At least I'm gonna pull it all up out of here and let's see what we got. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, pirates of all ages, we are here at the Concord Flea Market and we are going picking. Very exciting. Then we're gonna go pick up or actually start sorting the beautiful 20 year old time capsule $700 vault anyway before we go get picking trying to turn a dollar into 15 wait a minute try to make a dollar out of 15 cents um make sure you hit the notifications turn them set to all it is very free for you to subscribe to my channel and just make sure the bell is set to all otherwise you will not get all the notifications and if you're having problems getting them still please reach out to ebay or youtube on my behalf and let them know you don't get my notifications because they keep telling me you do and if you don't want to do that email me at lockerware <coughs> L-O-C-K-E-R-W-A-R-E -E at yahoo.com and give me your channel link and I will do it. Thank you. Anyway, let's get picking. All right, let's see how this works. We got a new GoPro. We're now rocking the 10. We had to. And we have, we didn't have to, but we chose to. And we got a little directional mic piece, so I don't know how that is going to work, but let's go picking. Let's see what we can come up with. That is my alarm saying, Michael, take your snacks. Take your snacks. <laughs> it doesn't need olive oil. Looks sealed, but a little skeptical of buying things at the flea market. Let's go see what these guys got. Lots of tools. See this? Uh, yeah, I have Howdy, Jeffrey. I thought it was going to go. I thought it was going to go. Resin. Look at that Okay, jewelry. Wow. <laughs> Some jewelry jars, but I'm not. Oh, pressure washer piece. A lot of used dish tools here. No, no, no. What are you Googling? I was looking for a bike. It's the 300 on the bike. An electric bike with a key and a charger, so you know it's not hot. How you doing? Unless you stole it out of somebody's garage. <laughs> yeah, but how much are those? I don't know, but an electric bike that works with the key and the charger, it's, it's worth that if you want it for yourself, for sure. Yeah. That's good. All right. <laughs> Doing well. How about yourself? Let's see what that goes for. What dollar over here? Dollar, dollar, dollar. Over here, everything's a dollar. Dollar or cheaper. <laughs> What's up, Mike? What's going on? How you doing? All right, man. How you been? Just chilling. Just chilling. Wait a minute. I know you. No, you don't. Yeah, you're the guy from the YouTube man. Right? Uh, yeah, I do do TikTok. I do do I YouTube. Your last night. Oh yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, man. As I try to pretend like I don't do TikTok or YouTube, it's I appreciate people watch, but it's, sometimes it's weird because you just want to like 
walk through and not people get mad at you or think suspicious things. Amigo, what are you doing? Doing well. Making money today? You got any coins that are Disney, the silver ones? No? All right, here we get some. That's one thing I collect. My girlfriend likes them. Row, two rows that way. I don't really like them because they are new stuff. So we're gonna go skip to the other side, wrap that up, and we'll call it a day. So far, we're empty handed, halfway done. Do you think we're gonna find something to make money or are we just flopping? Comment below. Six for one? Yeah, for, for, for this one. Yeah. Hmm. Gonna get her something. Is this better than a sharp stick in the eye, like I always say? Oh, I don't have the freaking change. Come on. Maybe not. Okay. Ten. Ten, ten, ten. Uh, Twenty. Forty. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, yeah, all I have is the five. Ay? I only have a five, unless you rather have five for. Okay, five. Ah, that's okay. Okay. Do the five? Yeah. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay. You want your bag? Um, I'll carry it like this. Yeah. This the one I got? No, it's this one. Thank you. Okay, you're Sh welcome. Have a good day. All right, so that was cool. I don't like negotiating too much. It's not my strategy, but I did manage to talk her flower down a dollar, so uh, saved money and didn't make money, but we saved it. Once again, we're doing smiles. We've been doing a lot of failing here at the flea market lately, huh, guys? Did we get the one box of cards yesterday, the comics? What did you get? Money bags? Somewhat. Travel money bag, whatever it is. Oh, okay. Keyboard bags. They're for like the mini keyboard on the Apple yeah. shows. This is all I got. <laughs> That's good. But you've been buying all kinds of other stuff. No, I'm not been buying much lately. Lockers you've been Sam out here again. Always talking about retiring but never quitting. I'm trying. To. You're not doing a very good job. If you wanted to walk away, you'd be done. Yeah, but the problem is, that's a Frederick to 28 out of the 100. Nice. Original is in the White House. Nice. Yeah, I got so much piled up on it. This, this is a 24 karat gold plated. $2,500. <coughs> yeah, but who's going to want to buy that? Uh, somebody will be. The problem is, at some point, you got to just let go and walk away, or you will be doing this till your last day. That's what yeah, you have to think about. My mother said the guy goes to a fortune teller. He says, "My my future." He said, two, three years, you're f emotionally, financially, physically, you're f future." And I said, what's gonna happen after two, three years? Don't worry about it. You get used to the life until you die anyway." Yeah, exactly. You get used to say seven four seven two. Seven four seven two. All right. I just texted you, so I'm gonna message you later. Thank you. That's something that I will see. I, I've been trying to help him move out of his stuff. I feel bad because he's been trying to retire for a while, right? And I've known Sam for a long time. It's not like he spent a lot of money with me, per se, over the years because he's a little frugal and he gets great deals and stuff. But I like the guy and I see he's trying to retire. I keep trying to convince him how to let go. You got to let go at some point. If you're already on your last leg and you're out here every weekend milking it for a dollar, you're not doing a very good job retiring. Yeah, it looks like I'm out of here. It's a boring day. I got a plant for the little woman and I got this bird thing to for the bird but to annoy the children because it's going to do this all day long. <laughs> yeah, um, you're not selling today? No, I'm going to go film right now. I bought some units the other day. Nice. I just went and got the GoPro 10 yesterday. How's that? I don't know. This is my first time using it. You're going to love it, man. I was kind of disappointed the 9. All right. Have a good day. So, we have this I, it's not my week here for buying st buying stuff at the flea market. Right off the bat, this is not my week for the flea market. Or last week was. I went yesterday. We guess we got something yesterday. But today we went home empty-handed for making money. But we did get this beautiful plant for Jess. 
we got that beautiful bird thing for uh, our bird. What's our bird's name? Peaches. Yep, our green canoe. And we're going to head on back to the storage and we're going to start unboxings. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you got the notification set to all. Make sure you stay tuned for the live auctions. The best way to do that is have your notification set to all. Pirates of all ages. My storage. I bought five vaults the other day for $2,500. And we are getting ready to start going through the $700. Been sitting since 1999. Yes, that is decades. This has been sitting for a couple decades. We got this vault here. We got one, two, three, four more in the front. So that's $700, $450, $100, $300, $600. I think it's something like that. So we spent. And, and on top of doing that, we got to rearrange this from the teacher unit, push the stuff forward, reload it and get our load ready for tomorrow's flea market that is what we're doing today anyway let's get to it i'm gonna set this up finish getting my tables ready and we're gonna start picking those boxes look who's in the house here we got uncle mike what's up uncle mike that's why things are getting done that's why it looks like it does couple decades sitting it's a time capsule this is a time capsule i love these no one's touched it what we have left to go through in this video is going to be right here all through here all of this and i believe this front row right here and that cabinet it's everything in this front row to the wood that's the marker comes out goes in this and we're, we're gonna see let's go let's get let's get on let's stop stop talking this is a little discouraging when you go in a vault but remember the guys there also at the, uh, before the auction start going through stuff no telling who opened it no telling why they opened it let's see what we got here oh I see. It's like the start of a stamp collection. Stamps could be a little value. Ephemera. Isn't that the, the magic word, Uncle Mike? That's what they say. Ooh, what do you got there? Hold oh, on a second. This thing is cool. Let's see what you got here. Oh, wow. There it is. You got the original can opener. Huh. Do you know how meticulous you have to be? This is a nice one. Got the drain plug right here. Have you ever used the ice chest like this? Is this from your era or is this before? It's probably my era, to be honest with you. That is it's neat. It's really cool. It'd be like a great for a boat. The nap. The nap yeah. thermo chest. If you had a vintage boat, it would be. That's got to be worth a few bucks. I would say. It doesn't even have a locking mechanism. How do you carry it? This does Oh, okay. Bam. Beautiful. I'm going to guess. Well, I'm 700 deep on this storage unit, so hopefully that gets us one seventh back. 100 bucks, maybe? I'm going to look that up, and it definitely goes to Alameda. This is all one unit? A lot. It looks like ephemera here. That's what I'm seeing. And I like that type of stuff. We got letters in here. Is that what that is? Nope. It's stamps. Okay. Do we have more stamps? Ooh, I don't want to touch them, because they could be good. But that looks like some great stuff right there. What do you all think? It's like a, a mini stamp collection coming out of here right off the bat. Theodore Roosevelt, that might be a good one. Elizabeth II. Oh wow, first day covers. Cool. I'm, I'm happy. That's a, that's a better start than yesterday. It was a little, the last, the last day in this unit was a little bit off. What do we have here? Is this more stamps or is this? Yes. Okay. I was thinking letters in here, but it's just stamps. Not bad. Not bad. The time capsule is looking a little better now. Good way to start it off. Too bad that wasn't 100, right? Wouldn't that be sweet? We just go... You got a stamp, a stamp guy, Uncle Mike? A stamp guy? Yeah, I know a stamp guy. But I think we should do this in the auctions. I'd I probably say auction. Shout out to Rick. Rick would be a good stamp guy, but... I think that the pirates like some of these too, and we don't often get them the stamps because we have other buyers. So it's like a fight what to do with what to do when you get it. These are all, what do they got? Little cards in the inside. Yeah, he really took care of these. Has little cardboard inside of all of them. Neat. That's a couple bucks right there just for that one little thing. And I got to do more research, make sure I don't have like a red dolly or something. We got the holiest of Bibles right there. Nice. Light of the World Edition. We'll have to find a good home for that. I don't sell uh, Bibles unless they're antique Bibles for collectors, but usually I, what I do is I take them to the market, and the first person to ask about them 
say, how much is this? I give it to him for free. So this is another collection of stamps and stuff in here. Looks like a lot of, uh, just a stamp. That goes to show right there. I just said it felt like it would be a stamp collection when I saw the first thing and poof, that was the box of stamps. But that goes to show why they're so meticulous. Like the little piece that was on the ice chest. I was going to say stamp people are, are pretty meticulous people. What are these? Indian prayer. You ever seen one of these, Uncle Mike? Let's go in the board to mark your pages in your Bible. Great spirit, grant that I may not criticize my neighbor until I have walked a mile in their moccasins. Tell me about that as I understand that to the fullest. People criticize me quite often. This is in 1958. Oh, I thought that was something. That's 60, what is that? 64 years old. First day covers you have the stamp and record of print by the dated cancellation mark. There are many kinds of shoes from train ships. Interesting. Wonder where he bought those. And we got this edition here of something. Encyclopedia. Slump. Act of slumping. Sudden sharp fall in prices. We okay. got a second. Second chance. I love these things. One of the things that intrigued me to buy this unit, shout out to, I want to say her name was Taylor. Taylor, you're a subscriber. And years ago, you told me Alex and I, one of us, both of us together, are going to find a storage unit and we're going to get these things in the in treasure suitcase. inside. Yeah, this style suitcase is going to retire us. So I'm stuck buying every single one of them. I remember her saying that. Yeah, I hope that comes true. On three, two, one. Yep, I remember that. Um, okay. It's a nice rug as far as rugs go. Oh, you know what? That's a couple of them. I feel like I should take these home. These are kind of cool rugs, and Jess could wash them, right? Yeah. She likes rugs she can wash. These are getting home. We're going dibs. We're dibs in those. My dibs pile is looking, looking fresh now. Ooh, Korea. That's a good patch right there. Here you go, eye patch, pirate. 12 eye patches, 49 cents, whatever that was purchased. Let's see how these work though. Let's go with the beige one. Let's go with the blue one. Oh, you just stick it on your face? I don't know if I do that. I don't know how these are gonna, these are gonna work on they're, like, oh, they're iron on, here, I'll do it for you. Iron on, no thank <laughs> you. Cameras, that's different. Didn't, didn't see that coming. Yeah. How did you open these? I know these things back in the day used to bring a few bucks, but we'll just keep focus on what you got. Okay. It says Eastman Kodak, so can't get that one open. Here's another one. We got a little bit of that. Nothing in the pockets. Okay, I don't know how these work. It's like a stick of gum in there or something. This says number 12 Hawkeye Jr. I don't know nothing about these. I think that they open up, but we're just gonna call them cool little $20 bills. We got two $20 bills, that's 40. Milk crate. What do you call those? Call it. That lid comes off or no? I don't think so. It's not a crock. Okay, yeah, it stays on. Well, I, th I think that's good. Twenty-five bucks. I would say. What's it say on there? Ruckles stoneware. Ruckles. What do you got? Oh, mm. I think I saw these. Look at these. Tell me, that's not pretty wicked. That might be some money right there. Do you know anything about these? It's from making shoes. You used to make shoes. What haven't you done? I'm like Spencer. I have I have two pairs of shoes and I wear them out to the shop. This is pretty wicked stuff. What do you do? You had to, you know how to work on this thing? Blacksmith? No, I don't have a clue. <laughs> Slide it over this. And then you just shoe. That is crazy. Oh, it's cool no, it's like that. Wow, that's kind of cool. And then that screws down. <laughs> that is cool. They were asking five dollars for it back in the day. Back in the day, that goes to Alameda, so that's the best I could say with I don't that. Know what we got. This is... Oh yeah, this this is a pretty nice '66. 
This is gonna be worth 50, 60 bucks now. Right. I'm six, getting some cool six, Alameda six, stuff. I was six years old. You were six years old. You were drinking milk out of these. Did Grandma have stuff like this delivered? The milkman used to come to our house. Yes, with glass jars. What if this was the one that you had when you were a kid? I don't think my. Well, he could still be alive. One milkman. Wow. I'd say that's a good 40, 50 bucks right there. Where are they? That's <sighs> That is kind of cool. That is trippy. I've never seen one of those. In all my day, I've never seen this blue pot before. Have you? No, that sure is nice. Yeah, I'd say that's another $25 bill. I'm a, I'm a little happier today. This job uh, wears you down sometimes when you don't get anything decent out of your stuff. 1982. Holy smokes. For instance, some safes. Yeah, those safes. That whole unit, that whole unit was a bust. That was one of the most disgusting things Korea. I've been in. It was weird. It started off kind of cool the first hour, and it went to crap. Who was there? Uh, I'm not going to say names. They'll probably watch the video. They know who they are. I don't like to call people out. Can you read us a psalm or something? I'll get my glasses out. But you were just 100 wondering. fables. F-A-B-L-E-S. You've told 100 fables. I can promise that. Fables. No. I can promise he's told a hundred fables. Wouldn't that be cool if we actually opened up and it was just loaded with hundreds? I hear stories of that. Boston, New York, Chicago, and London. All his books, actually. I think he takes literally takes the time to do it. I've never done that. I like to look for book safes. I was looking for you here. The jewelry city, the jewel city. Oh my gosh, can we find that place? Can we find the Jewel City? Nineteen fifteen. All right, that's a kind of a boring box of books, there, guys. Well, that was kind of a neat find. Shout out to all of our servicemen. Neat little Fort Ord book. We'll start a collection. These people are all generally in military. Where I buy this at, because they have a lot of military contracts and they're near the base. So, very often you find stuff like that. Picture of Uncle Michael, a turkey. <laughs> no? Look, see the resemblance? Well, look. That one looks more like you, this one's more like me. This one's more like, why is that one more like me, or you, and this one's like me? Oh, Ooh, that's that is nice. Does it have a no name on the bottom? Flawless, too. It says, US California, 19995. That's old. That definitely needs to go to Alameda if we can get that there safely. I would take all the scenes there. That's your call. These are cute. Cheap. I don't like taking these. We, every time we take stuff like this, to, that's what, I, what Uncle Michael said. Every time we take this type of stuff to Alameda, this type of stuff doesn't sell. We get the same $5 for this box there as we would the flea market and stock. Just the way it goes. And they had a lot of these. I wonder if people thought this was something valuable in the boxes. They're cool little tea sets and stuff like that you have family over. We got a couple boxes of these hospitality snack sets, but I'm just going to take those right to, uh, right back to Stockton. Books. Books, 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 books. No. <laughs> nice. A little jackpot here, maybe. Come home, baby. What do we got? What's in the big box here? It's all stamps. It's... I'm gonna have to save this for a minute. We'll come back to this one at the end because this one right here is probably a jackpot. Stamps for days. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Box. Boxy, boxy, boxy. Ooh. 1776, Wilton, Columbia. That is a little different. I would take that to Alameda because it's heavy metal on top of being a quick. Ooh, what's that thermos all about right there? I don't know. Oh. That is nice. Got that nipple effect there, hobnail. Oh, another one. These I would take to Alameda. These are a little bit more savvy. Now we got some A1. I'm not really a big fan of A1. Big fan of A1. Betsy 
Ross Port. Betsy Ross. Okay, that's pretty tight though. You know who Betsy Ross is, Uncle Michael? Yeah, what year is it? It is, well, this is a newer piece. Careful where you cough, Anthony, six feet. Do you know who Betsy Ross is? No. She is sewing the first American flag, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I don't really know. Yeah, first American flag. Of Avon Cardinal North Plate Songbird. Well, I'd like to have a flag. Oh, I would too. We'd be rich. I think it. I think it's the one. I think I've seen that flag. I think it came through an Oakland Coliseum once and they send it through in a conveyor belt and you get to look at it real quick and then it, it leaves and it comes back. I remember that. And what looks like a set of these. These are kind of cool. I'm guessing I'm going to take all this to Alameda. There's a candy dish by Point, Diamond Point, and then it looks like Another time cap. Who had remembers this from your childhood? Has anybody had these when they were younger? Someone's parents had to have these right here. I'm telling that somebody did. What's that? Last uh, supper. Let's see here. Hold on. Looks like a print. I'm gonna say. It's nice. It's a little damaged there, but it's probably worth Alameda still because it's, <clears throat> it's got a little. It's painted. It's kind of flawless. Yeah. Well, it's flawless in that part, but see how the the part right here is nice. It's just pushed in from. I still take it to Alameda. Don't forget, every time you hear us say the word Alameda, you comment in the comment section. One, two, let's see who gets the closest to guessing how many times we said the word Alameda in this video. What the? Best. Look at this vintage salt and pepper right here. You see that? We're continuing on here. A lot of Avon stuff, and I, 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 I tend to stay away from Avon units. Nothing bad against Avon, but... I don't usually like Avon use, but we got some neat stuff. Like, I don't know if I, what I would call this, milk glass? Is that milk glass? Was it painted? Reminds me of things that Anna used to have. And this <laughs> reminds me of. Remember she used to have that big shed in the backyard, right there? Can you go in the shed and get this? Uh, San Francisco. Little plates, a lot of cool little things. That get, I'm guessing I'm gonna set a lot of this aside for, let's say it, the A word, right? Wow, why did they have so many of these? Any particular reason? What were you doing with all of them? It is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, you, you didn't one use of this. All size, you gotta have the right one. No, they're all the same ones, Uncle Mike. Look. Yeah. There's one. one different one. It's like you, she didn't like her products touching the other products. Wow. Ashtray. That's a good ashtray, though. Yeah. I'm thinking this is all going to Alameda. I gotta go to the stamps here soon. That's what I gotta do. So I think after this box, we'll go right to those stamps. Avon, what a trip. Look at that. Is this Avon? Well, it's wrapped in Avon paper. Maybe. Maybe she was a... I remember... That's what I say. It reminds me of Nana. She used to have a lot of this stuff. Her mom used to both sell. Her grandma used to both sell Avon. And Tupperware, too. Remember the... Tu Did you ever go to the Tupperware party? Yeah. I think my mom used to have a couple of parties too. I remember that. Huh. Japan. Japan. All right. Getting some cool stuff in here. A lot of glass. It's not bad. It's not the best of stuff. Like I said, Avon is kind of a lower echelon of vintage glass correct me if i'm wrong but it is cool still Ooh, the monticello all right nice little jar box of glass here all these pieces like five ten dollar bills when you find the right sale that's what's important remember we're talking right sale not just any person is going to walk up and buy these type of items 
Uncle Michael was extremely impressed with this. I don't know why. I think he wants some oh, grinded meat tonight. It is pretty old. Everything's complete. All different bits in there. Let's see. Different gears for what you're grinding. Well, this is like you only has one gear. No? Yeah, we have uh -huh. a different... Uh, no, not funny? There's some uh, salt and pepper sugar. Come on, that was funny. Those are, let me see this. Are yeah. those different caps for the... Oh, Salt you're right. No, these are for like bacon pastries, right? And you, and you, doesn't Tina use stuff like this when she makes like oh, little special Salt pepper shakers? No, are you serious? They have to be. Why would they have little rubber seals in there? I don't know. Not maybe. Bacon. I think and you squeeze stuff out, like you know how like That's you possible. You you make different yeah, sizes there, so uh, toppings. I can't wait any longer. I'm, the anticipation is building up for me. I'm probably sure it is for y'all. We got a lot of boxes to go through, but I need to know what is in this stamp collection. So, first things first is the Columbia U.S. Plate Block Album. Please be a good one. Please be a good one. We're looking for the Red Dahlia. We're looking... Nope, it's just the pages. Weird. Okay. Not bad. We're going to get somewhere here. No. Nope. Just the pages. That's a cool little, probably a bonus gift for being in the philatelic. philatelic. Mm. That almost fell off there. What do we have here? Do we have... Superintendent documents. Thank you for your old files. Okay. That's looking like an empty album. Come on, baby. Where's the stamp set? Where's the stamp set? Come on. Postage stamps of the United States. Okay, it's just a book. It's a price guide. All right. I'm not getting uh, let down. Cool little ephemera books. Pack of fun. Pack of fun. That's a little cutout of something. What is that? It's like a, a, yeah, one of those. United States postage stamps. Come on. Ooh, no stamps in there. Where are they at? There's got to be some stamps. Is that money? Is that money? That's first day covers. That's better than a first day stick of the iron. <laughs> United Nations, United Nations, all right. Which all right, so... Need, which one do we need to find? Which one? What? The Red Dahlia. we got to find some stamps. That's what we just got to find some stamps is all. Historical stamp album pages. United Nations postage stamps. So far, they're just books. All right, that's a little bit of a stamp there. Careful. This is almost a plate, the flags of the world. Somebody used it all up. 88 flags of the world, but that's still kind of cool. I was wishing there would be some more. Coat of arms. Let's see how he decided, hey, let's go ahead and mail something. I wonder if he did that on purpose, like mailed them to friends who live in that country. All right, that's thin pickings. Let's go. We got a couple more to go here. A couple more to go. The Universal Stamp Album. Those would be some great ones. Those look like freaking old ones. All we're getting is stamp albums so far. Copyright 1951. All right, another album. Do we have any in here? It's looking like it's another album. We got another dud here. Come on, baby. Time capsule pay off. Be the jackpot we need. So, uh, uh, Inverted Jenny, which is an American one, that's one you really want to find, but they say that all of those are accounted Look for. Look those four cents. 
that is kind of cool. It's a block. I want to be careful because my hands are not the cleanest. And then we got little plates. I think these are plates. New Mexico. So that's kind of cool. There's a few stamps. It's better than no stamps. <laughs> so weird. So they say all the inverted Jennies are accounted for. And then there's ones like the Red Dahlia, which is a German one. Band instrument lessons. You want that? The the Beckwith Easy Organ Method. That is kind of cool. That is older than older than dirt. Extra iron, something like right? that's a little bit of food, foodie for you there. Where are they at? First book for adult beginners. Songs for children. That's got a cool art piece there. It's not worth much as far as the book goes, but you'll probably make more just taking the cover off and selling that. Ooh, what is this? Made the USA. Album of miniatures. Ooh. Okay, we got some type of stamps here. Nope, we got first day covers. This was caught right in 1934. Wow. That is heck of a old. A lot of first day covers. Um, they have a little bit of value. I don't know what. There are some that are really good and some that are just first day covers. That one seems like a neat one. Highway Post. Did anybody remember seeing these when you were younger? Do you guys remember these? Uh, when these came out, that would be 1953. That was before my time. So I could not remember that. Dwight D. Eisenhower. Do you remember Dwight D. Eisenhower? These are just from when? 1953 right here. George Patton. 1954. Mare Island. That's probably pretty tight. That's by us. What's in these things? Though? I think they just have cardboard and they're protecting them. Right? First day United Nations right there. All right. And that looks like that's a wrap. That, ooh, we got a couple here. Nope, there's a first day cover. Yeah. Come on, baby. Be the money. Be the money. Be the money. Come on. Come on. Red Dahlia. 1884. Blue Dahlia. Something worth a lot of money. Can we do it? Can we do it? I'm excited. On three. Very excited. Two. Okay. There's some stamps. What kind? I don't know. Please be more than just the first day covers because we could use a little. All right. Looks looking a little promising here. Looking a little promising. Hello? The stamp collector book. Yeah. The stamp collector book. All right, a little bit of stamps. We're starting to get somewhere. Nice. Okay. We got some first day covers. 1958. Maybe he was a first day cover collector and not necessarily a stamp collector. 1958, first day covers. Again, if you guys see any that you think stand out, let me know. United Nations, a lot of United Nations first day covers. Wonder if that's it. When did the United Nations come out? Anybody know the invention of? I like to know why they have something so much. That's when they want you to like something, right? Is they put it in your face, so you accept it. Just a thought. I'm always curious about that. I look at anything like when somebody's a pro athlete and they put that person in their face. They build, uh, they build their reputation. More first day covers. Why is Tom older than you? Yeah, he's older than me. Oh, here we go. Me? Oh. Look at that. We got some stamps. How are you doing? Do you look different? Stamps, stamps. First day yeah, covers. Yeah. Press that button, that's all I can do. You like the thumbs up? Yeah. <laughs> the hard book, same picture. Really? See, I told a hard, you. A hard cover book. You need an old person. I look at it. So that's I what I said. Oh, you said then cut my hair and my beard. They, uh, then come on my video and afterwards? Tattoo. Yeah, tell all that. That's great. He <laughs> said I should have robbed a bank. Oh, you could have oh, been like, I robbed a bank. That would be a brilliant title. I need to have bank robbers? Yeah, we could title He Robbed a Bank. 
I didn't even notice, you know. So, mm. that's, so I saw him like everybody else saw him. Yeah. Right? Uh, whoa, wait! This is one of, an old friend of ours, guys, here. I should have done it a long time ago. I don't know why I Uncle Michael's best you can hear their conversation. I don't touch my top. They're borderline lovers. Mine fall out. No, mine, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get my fingers up here and press them on. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm thinking about getting all mine pulled. You're wondering why you had dinner earlier. Well, don't wait so long like me. They have two things ain't worth it. No, they're not. What is it? Oh right, this is now, ones this is too, not a jackpot know, of uh, first day yeah, of stamps, but it's still there's some money here. I'm definitely not disappointed. I think this is gonna be several hundred bucks. Can anybody tell me what you think? I'm thinking several hundred bucks. Let's see what else is in here though. Maybe we'll come up on something. Okay. All right. Ooh, we're losing it, we're losing it, we're losing it. Okay, this one says stamps. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, be the stamps. Be the money. No, it's just... No. A little info. No. All right, United Nations World. It must have worked for them or something, huh? Did they work for them? Nothing in there. Okay, looks like magazine printouts. Okay, looking like some stamps there. Looking like a little bit of stamps. What do we got here? A block. That's like a block. Then we got this whole. Ooh, here we go. Here we go. Look at that. We're getting a stamp collection. I'm seeing money. I'm seeing money now. These are at least worth what it would take to ship, right? Like you could ship these. So there's bare minimum face value, which is a worth at least a minimum of 80% of that. I got actually buyers will pay me 80% or more sometimes. Okay. Some more stamps. That one I just showed. And then we got, oh yes, look at this. I don't want to be careful because they're just meticulously put in. Ooh, all sorts of little blocks and plates and pallets and... Look at that. Oh my gosh. We got three centers. Ooh, is that a blue dahlia? Does that look like the uh is that the, is that the money stamp? Ooh yeah, look at that. Jackpot. We're getting stamps and stamps and st Ooh yes. Alright, we're getting more and more. I'm liking this. Come on, baby, be the big money. Be the big money. Oh, yes. Lots of pallets, lots of three centers. <clears throat> Boom. Going here, look at this. We got a plate or a pallet. We got a block right here. This is nice. Now we're getting some more. Now we're seeing some nice money out of I'm thinking we're going to get a large chunk of our 700 back out of this nice little stamp collection here. What do you guys think? It's just stamp, 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 stamp. Here we go. Look at that. Oh, yes. Uh-huh. I'm digging that. There's like tons of these. All right. We got a three center, some more three centers. Oh, yes. Look at that. Three centers. But they're cool because they're plates. They're blocks. They're little. That's like a thing in the stamp world. I'm not good at explaining it, but... Work with me here. And, wow. Okay, I just got desolate again. But, at least that brought my spirits up. And, ooh. There we go. There we go. There we go. Come on, baby. Be some money. Be some money. Oh, I'm just dropping things now. going down. That, uh, you did that, Uncle Michael. No! Luckily, that was the first day covers. Ow! I know that noise. That's Michael. Oh, thing. yeah. Look at that. Years of working with him. You've heard that, huh? The grunting. He's got the whole world convinced he's the hardest working man in America, Tom. I used to save these. I had stacks of these. I bet. It's artwork. I knew it would show someday. You hear me, Tom? No, sir. I'm sorry. He's convinced the whole world that he's the hardest working man in America. He's not. Where is he? Who? Uncle Mike, I'm saying oh, he's so, Mike, he's somehow convinced the whole world he's the. I wouldn't have guessed that in a million years. You see, yeah, they say I'm mean when I say that. Don't no. talk about him. Yeah. Mikey takes it on the chin. 
There's so many ways we can go with that. Just, yeah. Just drop that in the air and walk away. Uh, oh, all right. Here we go. That's a good little jackpot. I'm excited now. At least we got something out of this. Exciting jackpot. I don't know if I'll pay the 700 for the vault sitting for two decades since 1999, but I could definitely tell you we're on our way back. We got lots to go. I'm going to wrap this video up. Uncle Michael, Tom in the background. We got this much to go here. I'm going to go through this dresser. Hopefully there's something in it and these boxes right here. And that wraps up this one pal that I paid 700 for. Oh, and we still got all those boxes there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget the like button, the share button, subscribe. Make sure all notifications are set to all. If you're having any issues, email me, lockaware, W-A-R-E at yahoo.com, L-O-C-K-E-R-W-A-R-E at yahoo.com. Or please, on my behalf, email YouTube and let them know you're not getting them. I appreciate that. Say something pretty. Ha!